Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beaver and today we are doing some math. Now the math in question is the calculations used to determine how much wood you need to add to your spirit for you to age it. Now this is once again a very hot button topic and there's a lot of opinions out there regarding the amount of wood you should use to aid your spirit on. Now a couple of weeks ago I uploaded a video where we discussed the difference between oaking versus aging. Now I called in an expert in the form of Dave from Age Whiskey. Once again link down in the description to his channel. Please check it out. Where he gave us some insight into what we can expect from that experiment. Now in that video what we did is we aged the same spirit. One was aged for one year and the other one was aged for one month. The kicker is that we used five times the amount of wood in the one month version than we did in the one year version. I did a side by side comparison and taste test to see if there's a difference when you use more wood in a shorter period of time. Quite an interesting video. If you want to check it out, link will be right up here for you to check out the video. Now, just a quick note that this video will contain a ton of math and a lot of geekery involved in calculating the amount of wood that you need. If you're not interested in all that geekery, there will be a link down in the description to a Excel spreadsheet that you can download from Google Drive that will summarize all of this information for you and allow you to enter your stave size and it will calculate for you what amount of staves you need to add to the volume of spirit that you have. Now the sheet is in both metric and imperial enabling everybody to use that sheet in the format that they require it in so once again the link to that sheet will be down in the description box it's for a google drive um, link that you can download the excel spreadsheet on now like i said there is going to be a ton of geekery involved in this video for that video what that we did the oaking versus aging what we did is uh, i miscalculated and used the wrong information when i did the original version of my spreadsheet when I did the calculations for how much wood I should use. I calculated and the amount of wood that that sheet gave to me was way too little and that at the end of the day caused that experiment when we did the oaking versus aging not to turn out as we planned. Now we're going to quickly head over to the whiteboard and I'm going to walk you through each of the equations that we used or the formulas that we use to calculate the amount of wood we need to add into our spirits. Now, once again, guys, this is going to be a lot of information really quickly. So, yeah, all that information is in the spreadsheet down below. Now, for the purpose of this formula, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 200 liter barrel or a 53 gallon barrel. Now, let's quickly look at barrel dimensions and the construction of a barrel so we have a better understanding of how i did the calculation if you look at a barrel you have what's referred to as a cap you have your wall and you have a bottom cap so when you look at a barrel like that and you go onto the internet and you go to the cooperage's websites they will give you the following dimensions you will have your cap dimension you'll have what's referred to as the bulge dimension as well as the height from end to end of your barrel. Now for a 200 liter barrel, the dimensions are as follow. Your cap dimension is 53 centimeters. So 200 liter barrel, here we go. Okay. Your cap dimension is 53 centimeters. The dimension or the diameter of your barrel at the bulge is 64 centimeters. And then your height of your barrel is a total of 86 centimeters. Now using those dimensions, we can calculate a couple of things. But what I did wrong previously was I used the cap dimension to calculate the volumes and the surface areas of the barrels and that caused me to number one undershoot the amount of surface area and my formulas didn't work out 
So for this way, for this go around, what I did is I turned the barrel into a cylinder. Now, how did I do that? Well, that is quite simple. Instead of calculating at 53, I calculated everything at 64 centimeters. So using the following formula, we can now calculate the total volume that that cylinder will consume. Now the formula used to calculate the volume of a cylinder is as follows. You have volume equals pi times radius to the power of 2 times height. That will give you the total volume of a cylinder if it was a straight cylinder like that. Cool. Now inputting this information into that formula we end up with a total barrel volume of 281,619 cubic centimeters. So 281,619 cubic centimeters is the total volume if that barrel was completely made out of wood or one complete bag of water. Now assuming that liquid both ethanol and water will take up the same amount of volume, not the same amount of weight, but the same amount of volume, we can now determine that the interior volume of this barrel is the liquid volume of what the barrel is rated for. So that should be 200,000 cubic centimeters or 200 liters. Subtracting the total volume from or subtracting the fluid volume from the total volume leaves us with leaves us with 81,619 cubic centimeters. Now dividing 81,000 into that 281,000 gives us 29 percent. Now that 29 percent that we have there is theoretically the amount of wood or the volume of wood within that barrel. Using this we can now start to calculate the amount of surface area both exterior as well as interior within the barrel. Give me a couple of seconds while I quickly erase this and then do the rest of the calculations to get to the point where we do the surface area calculation. Just want to pop in here real quick while Paul's beaver is figuring out he does not have enough fingers to do that kind of math. Just want to quickly explain the difference between surface area and volume. Now that confused me initially when I started my equation, so I only assume it will help. So over here we have a cube that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, giving us a one cubic centimeter cube. But this cube here has six square centimeters of surface area. Now if you take this cube over here, which consists of 27 cubic centimeters and 54 square centimeters. This means that if you take this little cube, you can fit 27 of these little cubes into this block. But if you go and you draw one centimeter by one centimeter squares on the outside surface of this block, you will have 54 little squares all the way around this block. So yeah. Hope this helps. Now back to our regularly scheduled program, a confused beaver. Now using that exact same dimensions we use to calculate the total volume of the exterior as well as the interior of the barrel, we can use that same dimensions now to calculate the total surface area of the exterior of the barrel. Keeping in mind that the dimensions that you get for your barrels online or for the exterior dimensions of the barrel. So entering the, the dimensions into this formula here, which is area times uh, area equals two times pi times radius times height plus two times pi times radian to the power of two gives us a total external surface area of the walls or the stave side of the barrels of 24,000 square centimeters. Now taking the following formula to calculate the surface area of both the bottom and the top cap of the barrel gives us a total volume 
or a total surface area for both caps of 6522 square centimeters adding those two together giving us a total external surface area of a barrel which comes to 30,522 square centimeters keeping in mind this is for the exterior of the barrel now on that previous calculations we did we determined that 29 percent of that is wood so if we subtract 29 percent from the total volume or the total surface area of that barrel we get to a number of 21,598 square centimeters now dividing this number by 200 which is the volume of the barrel gives us 108 square centimeters per liter of spirit now after a lot of talking and a lot of math that is the equations that i used and the theory that i used to calculate the internal surface area of a barrel now let's quickly head back to the bench to finish up this whole conversation and just give you guys a couple of interesting facts that i found while doing these calculations now if you stuck through that heavy amount of equations and you were still here please remember to hit that subscribe button down in the corner there ring that little bell icon so you get notified the moment i upload new content now like i said at the board there was a couple of interesting things that i picked up while doing these equations number one the ratio between the volume of wood and the volume of liquid is not linear so what that means is i did all these calculations from one and a half liter barrels all the way up to 200 liter barrels for the different barrel dimensions that i could find on the internet and they varied from 63 percent of the volume is wood to all the way down to which we saw on the 200 liter which is 29 percent and they were not linear so that's quite interesting to know that each of these barrel sizes uh, and the amount of wood they use to create these barrels do not change linear over the size of the barrel so yeah found that interesting don't know if you guys do the other interesting fact that i found out is that the amount of surface area between these barrels once again is also not linear um, just to give you a quick couple of uh, numbers yeah now if you take a one and a half liter barrel the total sur internal surface area of that barrel including the caps and the walls like you saw we did the calculations for is 675 square centimeters whereas for a 38 liter barrel that jumps up to 6520 but if you calculate that back into uh, square centimeters per liter for your one and a half liter barrel you are looking at 450 square centimeters per liter and for your 38 liter barrel that is only 173 square centimeters per liter now i found that very interesting seeing that a 38 liter barrel will age your spirits a lot quicker than your 200 liter will and a one liter will even do it faster now on that spreadsheet that i said will be linked down in the description i will also put that spreadsheet on the screen right now all you need to do is you need to input data at the top of the sheet where it says your stave size you're going to input the length width and height of the stave the sheet will automatically calculate the total surface area of that and it will tell you how many of those staves you need to add into your spirits either per gallon or per liter if you want to age it for different periods of time so the periods of time that you're going to age your spirits on will differ between in your climate and the temperatures that you're going to age your spirits at but it will give you a rough indication of how long it will take to age your spirits for me here in south africa with a temperate climate with the testing that i've done these dates do give us a good indication 
it is broken down into 60, 90, 120, and then 360 day intervals. You can then choose at what interval you or for what period of time you want to age your spirit and then it will tell you the amount of wood you need to use. Once again, link will be down in the description which you can download the sheet if you want to do your own calculations. Now if you stuck around this far, thank you very much for watching and have a lack of day.